And y'all, I just, I gotta, I gotta give it to you straight up, real, raw, authentically. I don't know what other way. <laughs> I, I can't. There is no other way for me to. And so, within this moment, I'm proud of myself for having the courage to be open to <sighs> express myself in this way. I express myself in a lot of ways. Um, sometimes seen, sometimes privately. <sighs> but these cuts, <laughs> Let me read the definition for these cups for you guys. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of cups. Upright means disappointment, withdraw, escapism, abandonment. When the Eight of Cups shows up in a tarot reading. You may be, you may feel compelled to walk away from a disappointing situation. It could mean turning your back on an unfulfilling relationship, job, career path, living arrangement, or creative project that once was a source of great happiness to you, but only, but now only brings you pain. You have invested yourself emotionally, but despite your best efforts, are disappointed. It hasn't turned out the way you had expected it to, and you realize that you are no longer getting anything out of this situation. Now, the only choice is to put it behind you and move on with your life, even if it brings you sadness as you say goodbye. The Eight of Cups suggests you sense that something is missing, particularly on an emotional or spiritual level. And instead of waiting around for things to get better, you know you need to leave that unfulfilling situation. It may not make sense to others because on the face, it looks as if you have everything you had wished for. But deep down, you know it's not serving your highest good and it's time for you to let it go and move on. The Eight of Cups can be a sign that you are trying to escape a problematic situ uh, emotional situation or avoiding some major psychological issue and concerns. The cups in the foreground represent emotional issues that remain real in the present in your life, yet you are trying to pretend as if they no longer exist, refusing to deal with them. You may repress your emotions or refuse to have open conversations with others about what's happening, instead preferring to pretend that everything is okay or avoiding the scene altogether. The Eight of Cup invites you to ask yourself what brings you joy, contentment, and fulfillment on a deeper level. Without it, you might pursue goals that fail to give you the satisfaction you are seeking. For example, you may think being in a long-term relationship is what you want, but when you manifest it, you realize that it's not just the long-term relationship you want, but a deep soul connection with someone. If that's not there, then the relationship will not fulfill your needs no matter how long you stay together. So if you find yourself repeating repeatedly in these eight of cups situations where you have no choice but to walk away, spend time exploring what will bring you true happiness and realign your goals with your values. So this right here, for me, um, this right here for me is resonating because I had to recently walk away from a job. And on paper, this job 
was like, you could hear trumpets going off. It was just like, you won the grand prize. Like, this is it. I was getting paid $17 an hour. I was doing very little work there physically. It wasn't a lot of labor. Um, very easy job to do and perform. I had great benefits, great hours, but deep down, emotionally, I was so unfulfilled, so unfulfilled. And it's something I want to say about that because I personally, and if this resonates with you, like this video. I've grown up to believe that you have to sacrifice your happiness in order to make a living. That sounds absolutely absurd to me. And it may sound selfish to some. And respectfully, that is their choice. And it brings me to tears because sometimes you end up <laughs> upsetting the people that you love. And respect because you can't live life on their terms but at that same at the same time and within the same breath I have to be true to myself I have to realign my life for what fulfills me I cannot, I will not tolerate disrespect from anyone or disrespect to myself in that manner. Not for the sake of a dollar. No. And that's a strong no. Okay? Now, I will say, within this card, I understand the responsibility I have at hand for myself in terms of realigning my life and focus so that I am fulfilled from a deep place to where money isn't at the forefront. I'll tell y'all a little story. I lived in Georgia for about five years and I worked with children pre-K through fifth graders. I worked with them for, yeah, about five years. I loved that job. I did. It fulfilled me on an emotional level. But the flip side was, I was only working. <laughs> about four and a half hours a day. 
I was considered part-time and I was making $14 an hour. So I'm going to just calculate that for y'all real quick. $14 an hour times four hours. I was making $56 a day. So 56 times five days a week, I was making $280 a week, getting paid bi-weekly. I was bringing home about, after taxes, about $500 every two weeks, roughly. And... It may not have been the most financially ideal situation, but that job fulfilled me in such a way that it wasn't about the money. I enjoyed getting up and going there and working with those kids and working with that team of women because it didn't feel like work. And the time and energy that I put into building relationships with those kids was so deeply fulfilling for me. Everybody can't work with kids. Everybody doesn't have that that uh, the patience to work with, with children. So I understand how impactful working within that field can be and again it's not about the money but reality shows you in this country, sometimes it has to be about the money because it spills into other things. And at that time, it was spilling over into my past relationships. And I felt like I was so emotionally fulfilled here within this job. But when I left that job and I went back to what was my home then, what was staring me in the face was that I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I felt like I wasn't bringing enough to the table financially. And it's, it turned into, okay, well, what more can I be doing? It turned into, forget those kids. Those kids don't pay the bills. <sighs> At that time, before my son was born, I didn't know if I could have children. So being able to work with those kids fulfilled <laughs> a bit of a mothering role, a nurturing spirit that I naturally have within me. Needless to say, it brought me to tears when I had to leave that job. It brought me to tears when I had to leave that situation. But I tell you what happened after that situation. I had my son. And I'm going to leave that there. Sometimes you got to leave. Sometimes you got to let go of things that aren't necessarily fulfilling. Sometimes you got to leave things that are fulfilling. Only to be blessed. <laughs> because God knows. the purity and the intentions of my heart and my soul. 
So I say that to say that I have reached this eight of cups again, but I have faith that it's only serving me for my highest good and what is to come as a result of this. I claim and I speak it into existence. It's something for my highest good. It's something that is going to be so deeply emotionally fulfilling for me. I know I made the right decision. 